Hi, my name's Latifa, and in collaboration with the San Francisco Botanical Garden, I'm going to show you how to make a nature print. Nature printing is an ancient printmaking technique used to create life-sized detailed images of natural objects like plants on paper, fabric, and other surfaces. Centuries ago, before photography, nature printing was used by physicians and botanists as a functional tool to document plants for study. Now, it's a means of creative expression. And with this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a nature print of your favorite plants. Today, I'll be working with lavender. Lavender is a wonderful flowering plant in the mint family, native to North Africa and the Mediterranean. Lavender is easily identified by its sweet floral scent. It's prized not only for its fragrance, but for its potential medicinal property and beautiful color. Many types of lavender are cultivated in temperate climates, such as here in San Francisco, as a beautiful plant for landscaping and gardens. Lavender is a great plant to practice nature printing with. It's widely available. And if you look and feel the stems and leaves carefully, the plant has tiny hairs on it which increases the texture of the print. Along with making art, nature printing can help you discover the extraordinary in the ordinary leaf and flower. Whether you have a large garden or a single planter, nature provides an excellent opportunity for us to slow down and be observant. We can develop a deep sense of joy and respect for the natural world when we spend time in green places and spaces experiencing plants their shapes their patterns textures colors scents and tastes being creative especially with plants can be relaxing even meditative so let's nature print some lavender the list of the supplies that i'm using can be found at the San Francisco Botanical Gardens at home page. Supplies are easily accessible and are items you likely already have at home or can acquire from your local craft store. The first step is to thin out the ink. I use a dab of oil blaze, oiled base black ink, but you can use any color, mixed with a few drops of linseed oil. I use this tool called a brayer to mix the two. That's good enough. Next, you wanna flatten your plant a little bit. Now, lavender is already pretty flat, so it doesn't need to be pressed too much. But if you had a much more bulkier or three-dimensional plant, you might wanna press it between two books, two heavy books to make it a little flatter, okay? The next step is to mist with water a piece of relatively heavy watercolored paper or printmaking paper, which is what your art piece is gonna lay on. So I'm just gonna miss that, lightly missed. You also wanna mist a piece of newsprint paper or lighter weight paper. And then you set it aside. I use this tool called a dabber, which is basically a medicine bottle with a makeup, a disposable makeup sponge um, taped to it to pick up some ink. And you're gonna gently, but firmly, press the ink onto your plant. There's a balance between too much ink and too little ink. You want enough that you can make out the details of the plant when it's printed, but you don't want so much that it becomes a, a black blob of ink. Experiment to find that right balance. So we just pretty much cover all the aspects of the plant. So you take your plant next and you could use your fingers or tweezers to pick up your plant. And then you wanna place the inked surface. So this is the surface we put the ink on down over the paper, okay? 
Now it looks like this lavender is a little tall for my sheet of paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip the stems a little bit and then do it piece by piece at a time. So here's our bottom of our nice bushy lavender. I'm gonna put the ink surface down where we want it. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle, middle bottom. Okay, now once it's down, it's down. Do not move it. Next, you're gonna take that newsprint or that lighter sheet of paper and place it right over the plant. You use one hand to hold the plant steady through the paper. We don't wanna shift it around while making the impression or else you'll get a blurred or double image. And use your other hand to apply firm, steady pressure onto the plant. Guide your hand over all the different aspects of the plant. And here we're working only on the leaves. The awesome thing about lavender is that we get a little aromatherapy tr treatment while we're doing this as well. Keeping the plant steady. Okay. The last step of the printing process, after you're certain you put enough pressure to all parts of the plant, and it smells so good, I'm gonna lift off the newsprint. Then with clean fingers or tweezers, I'll use tweezers now, we wanna lift up the plant and voila, you have this beautiful nature print. It's the plant's unique living image captured on paper. So I didn't do the flowers before, but I'm going to do them now. I just cut the stems a little bit so they're a little shorter and they'll fit on my page. So let's put this one right here. Now this is the artistic part of it. You gotta make your own composition. I'm going to put this one over here. Just kind of making it up as I go along. We have this really long stem. I like. I'm gonna put it over here to the side. And then our last stem. I'll make a little shorter. Now you certainly can do all of these in um, multiple steps, but I'm just gonna do them all in one step for the sake of the tutorial. So again, you get your newsprint, put it over, don't move it, and apply pressure. As you can see, I'm not moving the plant underneath. And because my hands are a little inky, I'm going to use the uh, forceps to take them. Beautiful. I really like this print as it is, but I think we can make it a little bit more special with color. I have to admit, I don't know much about watercoloring. I have no formal experience, but what I realized is that this is art. It is what I want it to be. It is what you want it to be. So let's get a piece of lavender. I see that the leaves are kind of this gray green. Okay. So let's try to replicate that color. I'm gonna pick up some dark green. I think I'm gonna add a little purple to get that smoky color. Okay, and then it has this little gray tinge, this lavender, so I'm gonna add some white to gray it out. I like that. Kind of similar. Works for me. I'm just gonna paint the leaves first. And basically I'm gonna use the plant's own outline. It gave me a, a drawing to paint and uh, put some color in the leaves. I'll do some leaves lighter, some leaves darker, 
to try to create some perspective. And that's pretty much it. Awesome thing is that this is super easy. No need to draw, which I cannot do, which is one of the reasons why I fell in love with nature printing. So I'm going to complete all the leaves and then rejoin you to do the flowers. Okay, I think I'm just about done with the leaves. You could see, super easy. Just lay down color in the area that the leaves were printed. And now we're going to do the flowers, which I am going to color a nice purple. Maybe we'll do a darker purple first and then lay down some lighter color highlights after. So you could use the plant as a guide. And it's really just laying color over the print. Nothing to it. Super easy. It's messy. It's spontaneous. That's what art is about. You could be more careful, but I like the organic nature that comes when I'm just a little bit messy. And this big guy. Okay, let's add some light purple, like I mentioned, to make it a little bit more interesting. And I'll mix the watercolor together. Give it that watercolor appearance. I'm really just kind of blobbing it on. <laughs> Because flowers aren't perfect. Nothing is. Art should definitely not be perfect. I think I'm done. And there you have it. Your lavender nature print. Well, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that it will enhance your observational skills of the plant world and cultivate your curiosity in the hundreds of plants that we see every day. Nature printing is a creative way to remove our collective blindness of plants that we share this world with. I encourage you to expand on your own ideas to find ways to hand print the natural textures of nature. And if you're interested in learning more about the nature printing process, please visit my webpage at titilayola.com. That's spelled T-I-T-I-L-A-Y-O-L-A.com. And the link's below. Take care, be safe, and I hope to see you at the San Francisco Botanical Garden soon.